What's going on guys? It's your boy Alex and today we're going to cover a story about US citizens, Americans, might be getting 1.2k into their pockets in about a month or so. The information I got this from was from an article published by CNBC. The title of this article is Senate GOP Releases Corona Relief Plan with Up to 1,200 Cash Payments to Individuals. As the main headline states, some people are about to get 1.2k into their bank accounts on top of a lot of relief plans towards small businesses, some large businesses, and a bunch of other stuff including federal loans. Here are the specifics on what exactly the plan might include. The tax deadline is pushed until July 15th. Corporations could delay their tax payrolls until October 15th. Employers could also delay their payrolls. There's a bunch of money that's going into several airlines. For the next two years, executives are capped with a compensation of 425k. Addition to that, there will be loans for small businesses, more money going towards community health centers, free testing that's included into private health plans. There might be a possibility where the payments towards federal student loans can be pushed back up to three months. Just so everybody has a good understanding, this bill and plan has not been passed yet, so a lot of changes might and probably will happen within the next few weeks. So we just have to keep in mind that the information I'm giving you right now might change within just a couple of days or even just in a few weeks. So just keep that in mind. This is not solidified. There is a lot of fluid information going around about this relief plan. For the 1.2K payment, there's actually some specifications on who is applicable to receive this. For the most part, I think a lot of Americans will be able to receive this because they're going off your adjusted gross income. And you could find your adjusted gross income in your 2018 tax returns. That's exactly what the plan is supposed to use in order to cater towards who is qualified. You want to look at form 1040 and make sure you look at line 16. Line 16 is your federal tax liability. And if you have a zero on that specific tax liability, you only get $600. For married couples, I think they cap it at $2,400, mainly because that adds up to 1.2K per person. So you're married as a couple, two people, that's 2.4K. In addition to that, if you have children, you add another $500 per child. There's no specifics on the article, but I'm assuming that you will only get $500 as a sum and not like $500 per parent. So if you are divorced for whatever reason, you will have your own 1.2K per person if you make under $75,000 of adjusted gross income in 2018. And if you have children, it'll be like $500 for whoever has, I'm, I'm pretty sure it has custody. I'm not sure. To, I don't know because it does not explain a lot in the article, but I'm assuming that you're both are not going to get $500 per person if you guys are divorced. And again, make sure you double check this information within the next few weeks because this information is very fluid right now. Now that you kind of have an idea of what's coming into your bank account, I want to recommend some things that you should not be doing and also what you should be using that money for. To start off, I want to go over things that you should not be doing with your payment once you receive it. I think this is not the time for you to go ball out to buy random crap, buy the newest iPhone, buy the newest TV, buy whatever thing glamorous like LV bag or whatever it is with this money. I do not think this is the time to do that mainly because for most of you guys who really actually do need the money, it, it's not meant for you to purchase luxury items. It's meant for you to purchase necessities. So an example of what you should be doing with this money is paying off your credit card debt. I'm not sure if credit card companies are lowering their interest rates based on our current economy, but from what I've seen, I own a lot of credit cards, so I haven't seen any news about them lowering the interest rates. So if you had credit card debt, pay that mother effer out first because that's that's so much money that you're accruing right now based on interest because they're like usually 24% APR. You need to pay that off as soon as possible because what you are really doing is that you're you're just taking money away from you in the future. So you just want to pay that off as quick as possible 
And if you have other debt that's like car loans, uh, home loans, like mortgages is what I'm trying to say, car loans, mortgages, or you are late on your rent, go pay that first as well. Depending on your current situation, you might want to prioritize buying groceries because that is a necessity for a lot of people. People need to eat, people need to drink water, people need to do stuff to be a human and function as a human. So prioritize that first. Do not, just freaking do not buy like the newest phone, the Samsung S20 or whatever it is. Just don't freaking do that when you have credit card debt, when you have a ho home loan, when you have a car loan and you're about to be like broke and not have food in your freaking fridge. Don't be buying the newest TV. Don't be buying the randomest crap that you don't need when you are already struggling just to live. Do not think that this 1.2K is going to be like the lottery. Just just don't spend it like you just won the lottery because 1.2K is really just not a lot of money for a lot of people. As of right now, it is important for you to understand that this payment is only a one-time payment. I haven't read anything about this being a recurring 1.2K every month, but let's say you have taken care of all those necessities and you're, you're good, you don't have any debt, so you are ready to either spend the money some other way. Whoa! Freaking American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is what I think you should be doing it with. The first thing is you should be investing it somehow to make you more money in the long run. Whether it is to buy something that you learn from or whether it is investing on a certain product that makes your life a lot more comfortable and just a lot easier for your day-to-day -day life or it is just as simple as putting it towards stocks. I don't know, the stock market is probably like the lowest it has ever been for the past decade. So uh, yeah, you should probably put in stocks and then reap the benefits within a couple of years. Sure, you're not gonna make the money right away, but in reality, you will probably make a bunch of money in two or three years from now. And that is better than just spending it on the newest AirPods. That's better than spending it on the newest TV because at the end of the day, those things depreciate. You don't make any more money from those things because you're not, you're just using it. You don't use it to make more money. You use it to entertain you. It's not meant to, for a lot of people, it's not meant for you to, you know, make more money. So spend it on things that eventually will make you money. You have to think about it as a time for you to just use that money, not to splurge, but to invest in yourself and in your future. And I have found that a lot of people do not have emergency funds. So for 90% of you guys that are watching that do not have emergency funds, guess what? My next advice is to put it in an emergency fund. Your emergency fund should be covering your expenses for three to four months without any paycheck. And that is in case of an emergency where you can't work anymore, you lose your paycheck, you lose your job, whatever it is, income stops flowing through, you have at least a cushion of three to four months to get up as soon as possible and then work your way through getting another paycheck. For me personally, I'm going to get this payment as well because I don't make over $75,000 of adjusted gross income. So my plan for my 1.2K is to put it towards my down payment on another house that I'm looking at or pay my closing cost or a portion of the closing cost, should I say, of a refinance that I am currently trying to do with the house that I currently have a mortgage on. For those who have not seen my previous video, you should watch it because that's where I talk a little bit about refinancing and my plan for it is and how excited I am to get into this low market, low interest rate type of environments right now because then what it really means is that I make more money in the long run with my rental property. I also wanted to make it clear that I'm spending this money on things that I already planned on buying. I'm not spending this money just because I 
got the money. I'm spending on these two things just because I have already planned on doing so anyways. So really, this is just extra income that I have been saving already. I'm able to afford like the closing cost of my refinance. I'm able to pay a down payment on a house that I want to buy. But this is just a little push that I was not expecting and I'm very grateful for. At the end of the day, this is going to be your money and you can spend it however you want to spend it. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have any certifications. I don't have any legalities to advise you carefully on how you spend your money. I'm using this as entertainment purposes only. I think just sharing my personal views and advice and experience with money, it can help some individuals critically think about how they spend their income. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are thinking about your financial life as much as possible during these times. And I hope you find this a little bit helpful. I hope I have helped you critically think about your life right now because a lot of people might be in trouble if you are not really taking this seriously. Thank you guys for watching. Smash the thumbs up if you have enjoyed this whatever information I've given you and I will see you later dude bitch if you keep talking we can get busy get rich and die trying to like feed all like trouble dumb bomb too shifty if it's bad blood I tell her ass with you